Hi there everybody, it's currently Weirdly Russian Man who brings value through my own experiences and I want to show you one video today, it's called uh, Bill Burr, how you know the N word is coming. We will watch it today and we will learn some English. By the way, I have been learning English for two years and we are right now on our progress and if you want you can support us with liking and subscribing if you want. If you don't want, okay, let's watch on that. Let's uh, go to this video. Yes, by the way, today I learned also something about American things because I want to move to America. I learned things about three branches in government. You have legislative branch and executive branch. And inside of legislative branch, you have the Senate and the House of Representatives. Or there is the representatives, also called like House. And on executive, you have uh, president. Okay, it was like a learning process. I wanted to share my, <laughs> my achievements. And right now, let's go watching what uh, you came for. Let's go. Nice start. I like Bill Burr so much really. It is the most the most hilarious comedian that I ever found in America uh, so far. I don't know how to say it uh, till this moment. I I like his style of uh, speaking, this kind of psychopath style. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nash. Jesus, it will be without subtitles. Okay, let's try to understand. We will be so comprehensive. Let's start from the beginning. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, and it's coming hard. Oh, yeah. Like a uh, black person appeared uh, when two white people and Bill Burr were sitting, yes? It's not going to be pronounced with the A, it's going to be with the R. And he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. It was like a dismount, clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing the wave. Like in uh, in a stadium. Just out of nowhere. So now immediately I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm waiting for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word, hot potato, just threw it in my lap. Like, ah! <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? <laughs> Have you ever fucked your sister, right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Who is militia? Militia, is it like a girlfriend? Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming, because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know those people get like so mad, they're not even looking at you. Their eyes are up, you just shut up and play the game! <laughs> Everybody's cracking. Uh, all people who are sitting there, you can f listen to their laughs. So, like, uh, so laughable. You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like violence, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. <laughs> it's so lovable. Like, I like violence. <laughs> I, I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know, get attacked by animals. <laughs> Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? 
That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that night. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, yeah, they just must be. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk, you started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think you're awesome. You get in the game, you're all drunk, you're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! And they're always calling him up, come on up here! No, come on up here! Well, they came up there. They did, and they kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like. I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie, like, wow, it's coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. Right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. And he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have. Okay, I understood a bit. Uh, I didn't understand like a context of this situation. I understood that it is a kind of situation that happened uh, like uh, with black people, uh, white dudes, and with uh, black dudes. And uh, humor is all about American. We d don't have uh, a big amount of like black people in Russia. I've seen only 500 maximum for all my life in Russia. Uh, but I've seen a, a big amount of... Uh, I, I've seen a huge number of people on the streets because I was doing interviewing of people. Like, I was live streaming in Russian language and I was interviewing more than 25,000 uh, people last uh, summer. And it's so big number, I want to say. And I didn't see so big amount of black people. And this joke is about, uh, like, black people uh, kind of all kind of uh, people who bring bring uh, spoiling of something in America. They think this is kind of stereotype, but they are not. But uh, yes, and people relate to them this way. That, that's why so big amount of racism thing happens sometimes. Uh, but it's funny. If It's funny. Fu funny things that he was speaking. Uh, the the loudest thing was about uh, his phrase about violence. Maybe it's kind of stupid uh, was to me to laugh at uh, this only phrase, but it was funny. And uh, another thing, his impressions, uh, his uh, type of, like, doing uh, different voices like this way uh, speaking this way and after that uh, speaking to this way hey dude like uh, different types it is funny really i like it thank you so much for watching this video if you laughed with me if you smiled with me i, I so appreciate it uh, it was kind of hard to me without subtitles to understand because i always watch videos with subtitles but without subtitles it is so really hard because uh, I his speech is so fast. Louis C.K. speaks slow. And his speech uh, I can understand with my ear. But fast paced. It is so really like uh, hard to catch to me right now. Maybe after like two months it will be better. Thank you a lot again. I recommend your own stuff in the comment section below. And uh, if you want you can uh, kind of explain what was uh, this joke about. Especially second one about like... Beating up whole rows of people at once, like Fr from this, from this till the end, I didn't understand. Like uh, when he started to speak about, like uh, it is f like a from cartoon, okay. And uh, sorry for this mentioning of like uh, to write this whole stuff, but uh, I will be so grateful to it. 
Thank you a lot and have a wonderful day. I want to learn English faster and we can do this together on this channel. See you next time in Professor Dele. Bye bye.